Welcome, guys. As you can see, I'm the only one here. Sorry, we're a little late. We had um, some more stuff we had to work on. So Brandon's out getting more materials to finish up the beautiful building that he's got going on for us. And uh, I'm it. So it's a, a Tetro stream. Got a couple things to talk about. Um, we're getting the whole front end all finished up in the front so we can get that done before snow falls and, of course, be able to work on stuff inside and not have our fingers freeze off because we don't have any heat in there just yet. Um, so once that's all finished, we should be able to start framing up a lot faster, getting all the electric water and all that fun stuff. So we're really excited about that. I'm super excited to see all you beautiful faces, even though I can't. Hi, Grandma Cooper. How are you? Um, got some concrete laid down today for the walkway. Looks super, super great outside. Uh, if you get a chance just to come out and look, super, super impressive by some local concrete guys that we love near and dear to the shop. Um, yeah, so very excited. Brandon's out. Tyler, of course, is out. If you didn't hear last stream, he has a plus one to the family. So we're really excited about that. We'll be seeing him hopefully um, the second week of November. So he'll be back on the stream and hopefully the three amigos will be back again. Um, thank you to the sponsors. Of course, can't thank you guys enough for keeping this going. Um, it is dark in here, but I promise we can turn the lights on. So you can definitely not don't worry about us joe's sticking over there laughing at that but uh keeping yourself strong of course the best gym in genesee county voted the best gym in genesee county that is um probably one of the best people and group of people that you could possibly see um in leroy new york um and of course uh, api bags which is probably the best you could possibly do to any of your possessions, both uh, firearm applications or near and dear stuff, documents and other types of fun things like that. Um, Joe's gonna throw all those links in there to API and Beyond Driven, of course. Um, yeah, so kind of off the cuff, I am really good with having a group of guys with me to get me all riled up. So hopefully I won't get too riled up on my own, but we'll find some fun stuff to talk about. Um, if you guys have any questions about the shop or about just things in general, new firearms coming out, maybe some classes coming up that we are always offering. Um, big thing, of course, is going to be your pistol permit courses, um, which we try to have roughly twice, maybe once or twice a month. Um, they're all listed with the links and everything that Joe um, can slap in the comments, or you can always ask away if you need anything like that. Um, but yeah. So lots of stuff happening at the shop. We're starting to really, really get some momentum um, with all of the subcontractors and, of course, the Lewis family completely killing it with bringing the greatest, hopefully, retail store and firearm strength facility that you could possibly get in this area. Uh, we're excited. We're, of course, still here. We'd love to still see you in our very, very scaled down shop. We'll call it 1.0, maybe 1.5 um, until we get 2.0 up and running, which I am in half of 2.0 right now. Super, super spacious, really nice to stretch out. You don't realize how little space you have working in the shop until you step in here and you're like, wow, kind of sucks where we're at, but we're making it work and we're enjoying our time um, while we have it at least. Um, see what's comments wise. So with the classes I was talking about before, permit classes, especially with Florida. So what um, a lot of people you might not know, maybe you do know, I don't think they really explain it a lot. We try to explain it in the class, but with your pistol permit in New York State, you are able to carry not only in New York, but in other states. So what that's called is a reciprocity state. So some states will say, so long as you're legal to own a handgun, and are 21 years of age and you have a permit or can prove that you're able to carry a handgun. Some states do a weapons card. Some states do a concealed carry permit card. Some people just do a carry card. Um, you are able to carry in a bunch of states other than New York so long as you know kind of the laws and the breakdown of that. Um, Joe threw in, or he might be thrown in, but for the big one is USCCA and the reciprocity map so if you go to the very top whether you're using your phone laptop or fancy google tv 
you can go to the top of that and there's a reciprocity map. Uh, what you're able to do with that map is just standard 50 states. You click on the state that you live in, you would click on New York State. And then from there, you're able to see where other states will let you carry, not let you carry, or let you carry under certain restrictions. So we don't, we used to teach the Florida class. We used to teach the Florida Utah class. We don't do that anymore just because all these states are starting to do reciprocity. So what that means is you're honestly by the day, it will change where your permit is allowing you to carry in almost every single state. I want to say right now we're at 35. Um, and some of those are kind of a tier system. So let's say you have your New York permit and you're able to carry in one other state. Since you're able to carry in that state, that'll open you up to more states. So there's kind of ways you can sort of link and log slash Lego up all of that. Um, the only state that I know is pretty easy to get if you don't um, already have it is going to PA. So that is not a reciprocity state but you can go over the border as long as you can prove with your pistol permit that you have one. I did mine at Center County, which is right by um, Penn State College, I believe is where I was at. Um, you're able to just go in there, just like a simple police station, say, hey, I'd like to get my non-resident pistol permit. And then boom, I think it cost me $10 and was like seven minutes out of my life. And with that PA permit, you're able to carry in a couple other states. So with the reciprocity map, so as long as you're able to carry in the other ones, then you can always click on your New York and maybe your PA, and then from there it'll open up a few more and be able to show it. So as of right now, we are not doing the reciprocity or the floor classes, but we might do that in the future if something changes. But for right now, it just isn't really worth us to charge you a bunch of money for states that you might already be able to carry in anyways. Uh, we'll for sure teach you like laws and stuff like that if you want to do just a simple laws class. But all of that on the class, um, not class, sorry, on the reciprocity map, it'll already explain that in a really, really cool brochure form. So let's say you're doing a cross-country road trip. You can print out all those brochures, have them in, look through it as you're going through the state, and you're able to see exactly, okay, I can carry I have to carry this way. I can't do it any other way. And it'll walk you through really, really well, um, which is super convenient. Yeah, um, as far as I know, starting this July with Florida's uh, constitutional carry, um, like changes, uh, as long as you're not prohibited from from owning a firearm in our 21 non-residents, I believe, are able to carry without a permit. So Awesome. We don't I, need the I had not heard anymore. about that, but um, we can definitely do the research for you, or maybe you can look it up uh, yourself, but yeah, I just know. some quick, just like initial research. It looks like that's the case, but you know, double then check. There you for go. Sure. So, uh, still do your due diligence. We're not lawyers. We're not taking this as the gospel or anything like that. This is just us doing, uh, looking up online, which is the same way you can do it. If you have any questions at all, the Department of Agriculture with any of those states, it's a 1 800 number. You just call them and ask. They're there for you. And they're there for their citizens as well in their state. So if you have any questions about your pistol permit or if you have any questions about carry laws, just the Department of Agriculture is going to be the best place for all those resources. But, yeah, I, sorry, I'm not terribly exciting when I don't have the three amigos all together, but um, I still enjoy talking and having some fun here. A um, couple new things. Um, I know might be exciting if, since we're going to stay on that pistol permit topic. Our some new start with the company announcement. Yeah, the HK. Yeah, so the the handguns is kind of what I was, I was trying to segue into. Um, there is some new handguns. They might not be terribly new, at least to us, because we like to make fun of other companies for not being terribly original. But H and K just came out with their new CC nine, which might look new to some people. To us, it looks like a couple of their handguns that have been out for a few years, but that's super, super cool because now that gives you another company that's making a concealed carry handgun. All of these companies are trying to chase that high. That Glock started with the 43, Smith did with the Shield. Now you got Sigma 365 and all of so on and so forth. So H&K has come out with the CC9, which is another subcompact 12 round in our state, 10 round concealed carry handgun where if you are a super, super brand snob type person where you want to maybe have every single firearm from one company, 
now H and K is going to offer something smaller than their already compact handguns. So if you want something super, super cool, like your 365 or your Smith and Wesson shield plus, or your 43 X from Glock H and K is there for you. Um, it's the CC nine. It is the same profile and pretty close to another firearm, which is the Taurus. So if you look at it and do a side by side, it kind of gives us the ick, but, I mean, it's, HK probably makes a quality gun more than Taurus. Well, that, so, you know. <laughs> that is true. I just can't get over the fact that the grip is it is H almost it is, identical. Yeah, it looks a lot like it. Uh, it is HK USA's inaugural gun, the first HK yeah. made for the civilian market exclusively and developed and manufactured in the U.S. fully. So, Which is kind of very exciting. cool because that announcement also is going hand in hand with H&K finally being a manufacturer in the U.S. They were already in the U.S. as an importer and maybe doing some assembly and stuff like that. But as a full-on manufacturer, that means some stuff that maybe we couldn't get, uh, which in New York State really can't get a whole lot of fun stuff anyways. But it means we're going to start seeing, hopefully, fingers crossed, toes crossed, and anything else you can cross, um, but we're going to start seeing some really, really cool exotic stuff that you may have seen through prolific movies and so on and so forth. But, yeah, if you like HKs that end in seven, they have filed some interesting trademarks. So we'll see what the next couple of years yeah, have. We're excited. Um, HK CC9, we don't have any in yet, but we need to grow that rental wall fleet. So we will have one coming shortly. I don't have any word on us having one very shortly, but hopefully in the next month or two, we'll be able to get our hands on one. And get it in here. I mean, it was announced like yesterday, right? It, <laughs> so, it is. Sometimes, though, we'll get it as we, soon as we we've can. gotten a couple little hush hush uh, type deals where we're able to get in something before it's announced. And then we just, we're all excited when it comes in because, like, now we can finally talk about it. Um, but today, I can't be excited to tell you about it because we don't have it yet. So hopefully, we will in the future. Uh, just not right this second. Uh, in that vein, uh, Joe's got a couple other printouts here. For those of you that are brand, are not, we shouldn't say the word snob, but those of you are loyal to certain brands, Springfield Armory has been around for a long time. The Springfield Armory that's now currently making stuff is not the original Springfield Armory that was basically pioneering everything for us from the Civil War and back all the way out to World War I, World War II, so on and so forth. The Springfield Armory you have now has come out with a new XD line. So the XD has already been... A thing for forever they are an importer for hs product which is a croatian company based obviously in croatia that is a military and police type of company so a lot of their xds were used by the military and police similar to the smith and wesson line the xd was okay then they came out with the mod 2 which was okay and then now there's the mod 3 which is still okay but it's cheaper you're getting a better trigger on it because they went from a curved shoe to a flat for if you guys are into that or not into it i know i am i love it a lot and for a sub 400 dollars price point and you're getting a new nine millimeter compact handgun to semi full-size handgun there you yeah. go optics ready new serrations yeah and trigger metal light. they said metal sights i don't know if they specifically said night sights probably not but it looked like at least a high vis. Yeah. I mean, for the price point, it looks like it'll be competitive. Oh my God. Yeah. Rock and roll. So can't say I'm not excited to try it, but that's going to be a rental. So if someone does want to try it, the new XD mod three is here. Maybe we'll start seeing more of those mod threes from other lines that they do. But as of right now, it is just the XD line. So that is their like Glock 19 meets Glock 17 sort of nine mil mix match which is still pretty sweet no oh. some friends saying hi hi guys donna she didn't not miss anything we didn't do a giveaway so you didn't win tonight no you would know <laughs> you would definitely know i uh, my beautiful wife's watching too um so all guns and ammo are not legal in there. No restrictions. I, I, wish. <laughs> I wish. God, I wish. <laughs> maybe one day, I hope, if not me, maybe my children so I can relish in that glory with them and my grandkids and so on and so forth. But um, not just yet. I didn't see a question, Joe. 
Oh, let's see. It was the one we had to address. Oh. I mean, we did have the win with the uh, judge striking down the one provision of the Concealed Carry Improvement yes. Act. Yes, yeah. So for those who are sick of the news just as much as I am, the informational age is absolutely sucking the life right out of me. But some perks of it are people actually putting their foot down and seeing that line in the sand and crossing it and trying to wipe it out. Um, back in September of last year, when the Bruin was argued, fought, struck down, a little bit of everything, um, our beautiful state decided to say that everything was restricted when it comes to carrying unless a business said you were able to carry. That was struck down within this past week, which is incredible. Um, still, if you see a federal building, like post office and stuff like that, obviously you can't carry in a federal building, but with a concealed carry it's concealed, so we are not an open carry state. I'm not saying you should or should not do that, but it's concealed, so don't ask, don't tell. But with that being thrown out now, even if you see a sign um, saying you can carry, it's okay. That's probably just from back then, but you're still able to carry regardless of that. There are, however, businesses, like I know a couple right off the top of my head, that even if you don't see a sign and you're still not, sure about it there are businesses that are a no carry business um it's a little fine line in their websites and stuff like that certain grocery stores maybe some local grocery stores that you might not think about are actually a no carry place so obviously be careful with that you have the right to protect yourself and your property and your loved ones so i believe in that protection but either way it's still cool and a good win for us it sucks that we have to get excited about something that should already be a natural born right, but it's a step in the right direction. We went backwards for a little bit. We're going forwards again. Sometimes you need to do that to start up the engine. So hopefully we'll be seeing some better stuff coming down the road. Um, start a little snowball effect, but I can't stress this enough. You may not think your vote matters. Do it anyways. You, you, you never know. I mean, you honestly never know. Don't regret what you could have done today. So November is a big deal. Do it. Even local stuff. I mean, we were talking about it the other uh, last week or two weeks ago now with Brandon. I used to kind of not really care about my local stuff, but man, you go into a local town meeting and just kind of listen to what's going on. You have the power to change something, even if it's a write in or just kind of looking at your local people because it starts with us and then it goes up and kind of carries on. So go out there, go vote, get, get, go get the cool sticker, get two if you want, have some fun with it, but seriously pay attention because this is a huge, huge, huge point in our life and history where we need to kind of make a difference um, with that. Jason's excited about baseball. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Little shout out. He wanted a shout out. Little JB loves the Yankees. Um, if you guys have a cool couple, what? Billion? What are they selling that team for? Yeah. If anyone wants the Minnesota Twins, they're up for grabs. They're up, they're. I hear rumors the White Sox might also be up for grabs. Really? I, I'd go for Minnesota before. Chicago. I'd go for Minnesota because yeah. why not? But hey, Jim. So yeah, if you have questions about like shotguns and shooting clays, Jason has lots of. Jason's our guy. He is our subject matter expert for all things trap and skeet or. Maybe, I don't know, if he knows a little upland hunting. If it flies, it's going to come down with him. So if you have any questions about shotguns and stuff like that, like Joe said, stop out down, fire away, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> we back up four to three. He's giving us the live play, play. They must be watching the game. <laughs> Which, speaking of, yeah. Jason and Cam right now are in our members' hours. If you still do not know about that, we have members' hours. So, not only are you supporting us to get this big, beautiful building, you are also able to get in an hour early before we open and an hour after we've closed to come and shoot, hang out. Maybe you had a transfer that you needed to come pick up, but you work out away from you. You want to get in and you feel bad that we're wanting to take care of you. We love seeing you. Uh, we are now open at 10 o'clock normal hours and closing at 7 o'clock. But the 9 a.m. to 10 
and seven to eight are now for you to come out and shoot and say hi. We'd love to see you. Um, it's member hours, so don't worry about making um, type of reservation to come in and see the shop. If you do want to make a reservation for the range, um, the way our booking is set up is closed off for that. So that way we can't have someone that isn't a member come out and shoot. But if you want to come out and shoot at that nine to 10 hour or the seven to eight hour, then give us a call, send us an email, messages on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. And we'll get you all squared away for the range. We'd love to see you. Your membership um, is one of those awesome perks there. There will be more perks that we've talked about in the past. If you want to go look back at a couple of our streams um, that you're able to see um, all that cool stuff that's going to be happening with the new shop. But the biggest thing is members hours. So that is nine to 10 and seven to eight. Yep. Range still closes a half hour before the store, but you get that 630 to 730 range time just for members. Like Joe said, just give us a call. We'll put you in on the range. For yeah. members hours and uh love to see you i'll make coffee for you in the morning uh, i'll make coffee for you at night heck yeah, you yeah. <laughs> we'll make coffee for you whatever you want if you're a member we'll make it happen for you so we'd love to see you and jason yes has much wisdom <laughs> yes he does but get on to some more news uh got uh interesting too bad we don't have an easy way to share pictures Mm. on the stream but uh some new military contract firearms for barrett hello and i think is this the australian barrett still or is this still yeah US it's barrett? it's well it's the same company they're just owned by okay. yeah right uh but uh i think i think fn also released a version of something for this there were three i think yeah. fn australia or sorry barrett and then there was already a company that kind of existed and i believe that was h and k anyways yeah that did it uh what we're talking about is there is a new i don't know who started it who wanted it but i am here for it uh, uh basically you take your standard ar platform or semi-auto we'll say assault rifle platform which is not correct but grenade launchers so these are mag fed anti-material looks like some craziness that yeah it looks like an army contract tender for a precision grenade system uh looks like so we took our mark 19 belt fed and said i want to be able to walk around with this and sling it over my shoulder I think they've sized it down 10 millimeters to 30 so we can actually have reasonable stick wow. mags but uh yeah that's where was that during uh arnold schwarzenegger's predator interesting you would have it uh it's impressive looking it looks like a gun out of warhammer yeah it's pretty cool so if you want to look up uh... well there's our guys there's cam am i late you yeah you're really late Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you can't swear on stream. You can fix it in post, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Nah, we're not live. <laughs> so, boys are back. The uh, this Cam, Jason's around the back. The, just finished up our members' hours. So, again, if you have a membership, it is still good to go. We still have the range that we'd love to see you with the pistol calibers only. Or if you have any rifles that are sub 1,400 feet per second, stop on out. Or if you don't want to do any of that and just want a cup of coffee and hang out and say hi. We'd love to see you too. Um, can't say any more nice things about it because we're get, we're bored at night. And we'd love to see you. Yeah, we please please come out. Please. For it's hours. dark. It's dark, scary, and the monsters are out. Yeah, <laughs> I've been well. thinking about buying some glow sticks and just going. Mm, 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 Cam will dance. Yeah, for that's you. true. <laughs> Cam Cam sets the mood. For members Cam will hours. do a little dancey dance. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Jeremiah is happy to see Cam. Yep. Oh, Jeremiah says hello. Hello. Yeah. Any questions? Nothing. Kind of a short stream, guys. I'm sorry. You know, we're you know Brandon's busy out here yeah. building a new building. Yeah. He. They are. He. Best boss I ever had. Honestly, it's it says a lot for him to want to continue to do this. I would have honestly given up after losing my entire business to a fire i mean haven't missed a day of work no no, no days off as pat would say there are no days off and i'm sure I mean, beyond yeah. driven 
they'd also say no days <laughs> off 24 7 brand is more of a 25 8 um super super impressive and very happy and proud that he is leading the charge uh for our 2a rights and everything like that um super super stoked oh also you can see the stream from your phone or however you want to do it computer tv smart whatever during the members hours since we are opening an hour later from seven to eight and the stream generally starts at like seven seven fifteen you can watch us live i would love for you to either heckle us or ask us questions live maybe we'll have a couple of guest speakers that can just pop in and out but that seven to eight will also allow you to come in and watch the live stream as you see it here but in person which is super super cool so yeah i mean it's you, a little work in progress right now but yeah once we get the new it'll building be, and, yeah, you'll be our own laugh tracks yeah how about that you it's we'll just point you and you need a laugh not at us with us <laughs> with us yes please with please. us i can only handle so much ridicule <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah if you don't want to come out and shoot you just want to come out and say hi or every thursday come out and see take a look at our live stream maybe we can do show and tell Maybe we can talk about our cool little hunting stories and stuff like that. Whatever you want. I'd love to see it. I'd love to hear it. I know the guys would agree as well. Cam would agree. Cam well, agrees right now. He what, agrees. You know, what am I agreeing about? Cam, okay. Cam, Cam thinks hunting stories are okay, but Cam wants to hear about your military surplus. Yeah. Hunt. Give me all your real surplus. <laughs> <laughs> you or got. if you have cool stories, it's if you're a veteran. Yeah. Yes. I'd love to hear it. Jeremiah, I'm sure, has some really, really cool stories. Maybe we'll wait for him to be not redacted. But. Yeah. <laughs> um next not maybe is it next is next thursday halloween or is the weekend after that week after yes. week after so for halloween cam and i are probably going to do uh, some spooky war stories not from us being the service but just military uh history stories that you might not know about if you guys want to tune in or have any questions about that we'd love to uh, do that we're also thinking about other forms of live stream so we're going to have obviously tfb or sorry tfp don't Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't don't associate us. <laughs> Sorry, Reeves, <laughs> but uh, TFP. Yeah, nobody here wears short shorts like that. No, I tried it, but no, it got, it got chilly. Uh, we might have some other streams in the future when we have the new studio. So Thursday nights are going to be this, of course. We might do maybe a Saturday night or a Sunday night or Tuesday. We're not sure yet. Where Cam and I just talk about crazy, ridiculous mill syrups that we've either seen, heard, or maybe ones that we'll never see because they only made two of them. And that's the end of it. So if you have any questions about that or want to see more of that, we'd love to see in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And maybe give us some ideas for other streams because we'd love to make this more. Um, our beautiful sponsors are making this happen, and we want to do more with it and for you. So if you want to see random things, maybe we leave this just being current events and the other streams are talking about upcoming firearms and ammunition and new stuff that's coming out or military surplus and stuff like that. We'd love to hear and see if that is a good idea from you guys, because you make this happen for us and we want to make it happen even more for you. Maybe we can get the man behind the camera in front of the camera. That'd be nice. Yeah. Flip it around. has happened before a couple times. And but then maybe you can talk well, about something. We've, we've added extra cameras from time to time too. Don't you like to talk about knives? <laughs> yeah. I like knives. Oh. Watches. Ooh, Joe and I could do a watch. We could do a. We could do a watch. We, we could do. Uh, I can't do cars. I'm not. Uh, I know what I drive, and that's about it. But I watches for I sure. Know knives for sure. Afford cars. Because already. If I could guns. afford cars, I'd be. <laughs> guns and I wouldn't be wearing a T-shirt that says <laughs> I love whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's kind of going off on a rant there. But we want to do more for you. So we're already. Super excited to have a bunch of cool ideas, but we'll see what happens in the future. And please leave us a couple comments and see, if, you know, come in. Maybe you got something cool you want to talk about and we want to bring you on. You never know. Alrighty. Now we switch to Ollie with the weather.